Hi, it's Mr. Omara here and I'm here for our first lesson about Microsoft Small Basic, which is a programming language. It's a step up from things like Scratch and it's not as sophisticated as the programming language of which languages which are used in commercial applications or websites, but it's a very good learning language. So let's get started. As you can see here, we are looking at the text screen, that's what this is called, and it is a screen that only shows text, which is unsurprising, and I've just run a program to create that. And let's have a look at how this is done. So that's what this lesson is about. It's about create, putting text on the text screen. So I'm going to write the command text, and as you'll notice, it has a thing called an IntelliWheel. And what it does is it suggests to you what commands are available to you. So we've got text window and I hit enter. And then you'll notice over here, well, I did at least until I clicked across, text window, it actually shows me all the stuff that can go next. So that's another way of letting me know what code I can use. So I'm going to use right line. Now what right line does is it puts some text on the screen and then it breaks to a new line. So, um, Welcome to these tutorials. Um, close inverted commas and close brackets. You always need the brackets, but you only need the inverted commas when you're using what I'm calling literal text, which is exact words that you want the program to say. And then I click on that button to run. So, as you can see, the text window is opened. There is the text I've asked for, and it says press any key to continue, which is very standard. Okay. So now it is your time, that's the reminder there, your time to do some programming. So here's what you need to do. You need to write a short program in Small Basic that is going to put a short message from you up on the screen just like I did, and that is your first task to get done. And if you're not sure how to do it, go back and look at what I did and copy the code and copy the method that I used.